first thing that you're going to need to do to complete this task is to find out where in the settings you change the typing language, writing language, and also the interface language as well. It's possible you might want to switch between the two, French and English. You might want to work in French, but the um, demonstration video which follows this one showing you how to create your blog article I've done using the user interface in English. So let me show you where you go to change the language. This is your main account page. You see we're neither in sites or reader, we're in the account settings page, but it's possible to get to these settings these param parameters from all views. So you see here you have paramètre du compte. In fact you could be prompted to select this when you set up your profile. Or if you look at sites, you have réglage here. And there's another section as well, tableau de bord. So this is your main admin page. If you ever fall here, this is like the master dashboard, the master overview. Once again you have réglage here. Okay. So we're going to go back to my sites. From any of those places, paramètres or réglage, you can change both the input language and the inter user face language. So here, this is the language that, for typing in. So it's set to English. If you click on the down arrow, you see you have all possible languages available. So we want that set to English. It's possibly detected that as a default because of the articles that are already here. What you need to do also or well, you may want to switch to and fro here, is to change the interface language. The purpose of the task, the Activité Transversale, is to help you become familiar with working with menus in English. So if quite often in social media, marketing or any enterprise, as you know, you work in teams. So sometimes there'll be more than one of you, just as with your groups now, working on what we call the back end, the, the creation, the writing, the editing of posts. And if you're an international team, it's most likely you'll be using English as your uh, common language. So I'll show you here how to change that. Interface language is in French here at the moment. Feel free to work in French if you find it easier, but as I said, my demonstration video is set to English, so it might be straightforward just to start with that and keep working that way. So here you see now it's set to English. So now some of these you can see have changed already. My Sites Reader. No, okay. My Sites is the place where you manage your posts. Reader is the place where you can read and follow other people's posts. And then the admin here is kind of the master admin where also this is where you could change your theme if you wanted to. So the important points here are posts. This will take you again to your list of posts. Appearance. Themes. That's the only other place, apart from settings, that you're going to need to go for this project. Themes. So here you have the name of the theme and you can see what it looks like in its overall view. Okay.
Now look, some of these here have a price attached. So these are sort of the more luxury style, maybe less common themes that you can pay for. If you have no price tag, then you know it's free. So when you've chosen one you want to use, you click on activate, or well, you can preview it first. Preview to get a look first, or activate. A nice plain theme, is there a search theme, is Omega, which doesn't have, uh, okay, it's not there. So choose any of the ones where there's no price tag. Okay, so if so we want to use Scratchpad, we can preview it. See if we like the look of it. You'll see anything you've entered already is transferred in. Okay, this is just my blog site that I've already created. Okay, so you get to see what it looks like. Um, maybe we don't like that one so much, so we'll go back and we'll see what this one rolling preview. See what that looks like. Yeah. That looks more newsy, so that's more suitable for this pro purpose here, my internet business project site. Yeah. So just uh, keep previewing until you find one that fits for your enterprise, and then activate. Here, where they're paid ones, you see it says purchase or buy. Where there's no price tag, it says activate. Okay. Don't panic, obviously, if you happen to click on one of these paid ones by accident, they can't, you can't actually pay for it until you've entered your card details, so that's not a problem. Okay, but these are the free ones. No. Okay, so this is our main overview dashboard again. So the only things you need here, there is a way to get to post from here but you don't need to go that way. You can access your media library, so you can see what's in there. You can also change your theme. So go to Appearance and Themes. That's all you're going to need there. Possibly Tools, uh, Settings. Mm -hmm. This is a, another place where you can change the, in, the input language and the interface language. Okay. There. It's all set up, so we're ready to go and create our first post. See you in the next video.